Hello everyone and welcome to another Just Watched. I am your host, Devin. With me is my faithful servant, Billy. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm gonna use a prompt. That was a good intro. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we watched Redfield finally. Yeah. It came on Amazon Prime just recently. Yeah, yeah. So that was almost the last like, few days. I'm like, oh. Yeah. It was on our to watch list. Um, we here at Starman are kind of big Nicolas Cage fans. Yep. Uh, me and Curtis are for sure, <laughs> but. <laughs> I think Billy Earl. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love Nicolas Cage. Yeah. They're fun movies. Yeah. Even if they are terrible, they're still fun. Oh, yeah. But this one surprised me because it's not terrible. No, and this is not like... He doesn't know Nicolas Cage. No, this is not Nicolas Cage being Nicolas Cage. This is Nicolas Cage as the best Dracula he can be. Yeah. Holy crap, he... He nailed it. I yeah. was like... I was, like, he definitely got inspired by the old Dracula. Oh, yeah, because, like, I didn't know so a few shots of him kind of looked like Bela Lugosi at some point. Yeah, they definitely made it look like he was Bela Lugosi. For yeah, him. and I love the fact that when it opens up, they put the new actors in, like, the old setting. Yeah. That, like, that's... That's commitment. Yeah. So, yeah, simple plot. Uh, Redfield realizes a peaceful relationship, goes to a support group, and does a break away from Dracula. Dracula doesn't have it. Not having it, because it's not that simple. <laughs> and that's about it. It's yeah. basically just Redfield uh, getting away from Dracula. <laughs> And I am all for this. This movie, I'm definitely going to put in my collection at yeah. some point. <laughs> What are some plot points that we should talk about? Because we do. Have, I like the flashback. Like, yeah. The, here's what I, my life used to be like, and the fight with the like basically the Hellsing or Belmonts, whatever you want to call them, oh, the vampire hunters. Oh yeah, the opening. <laughs> the opening scene where they almost have them, but then Redfield saves Dracula. And holy shit, the, the priest is. Oh yeah, no, that was a fun... This movie's very violent and gory, and I'm here for it. Yeah, you love it. I feel like they watched a lot of Mortal Kombat fatalities before <laughs> doing this. Yeah, because... Oh, at one point they even had the, uh... X-ray <laughs> zoom in. I was like, someone got inspired by Mortal Kombat yeah, really yeah, hard on yeah. this. There's... Like a scene where he rips the guy's arms off and <laughs> proceeds to beat the living hell out of everyone around him, and then impale two the, guys with the arms. Like that's awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> I like Randfield, next Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, he's not in as a super character, guys. You, you're missing out. Yeah. Miss missing out. <laughs> so yes, and then we cut to modern times where. Dracula is still recovering because he nearly died in that scene. Yeah, the vampire hunter shoots the curtain down, burns him pretty good. Pretty good, but Dracula manages to burn him back. I guess if I'm on fire, the last my last ditch effort is I'm gonna hold on to you and yeah. we burn together, though. Well. <laughs> and then Redfield is tasked with taking Dracula to a safe location and then getting him innocent victims. Yeah. Defeat him, which this day and age, no one's innocent. No one's really innocent, so it's really hard to get that blood, like pure blood, for Dracula. Yeah, because he remember had this idea of, like, all right, I want to go after all the abusive guys. Yeah, and like, what are these? Yeah, they're just scum. Yeah. <laughs> like. This is where what I liked about it is because it shows that Redfield tries to do good yeah. in his own twisted way at the start. And that, you know, he wants to be a good person. He wants to believe that he's not just Dracula's lackey and evil. Yeah. But he, he's playing the victim card, too. Which, I like the turning point where he's like, no, I'm not the victim. I chose this. Yeah, like he's... Yeah. 
Like, this is a good full-on redemption of Renfield. Yeah, yeah, like... That is the major plot of this movie, is watch Renfield go from the sniveling thrall to his own man. Yeah, like, he gets his own apartment and... Yeah, starts moving away from Dracula. And then actually has to confront Dracula when he realizes, oh shit, Dracula don't like that. <laughs> and then our side plot. Oh yeah, the cop. The female cop who is working in a corrupted force mm -hmm. trying to take down a very... Not the biggest, but the scariest... Crime family, yeah. Crime family. Which... Yeah, because everyone is so scared of them... They have the cops basically in their pockets, and it's all morally just a revenge plot because the gang killed her father, Yeah. and she wants to see them brought to justice, but no one on her side. No. Except her sister. Except for sister, but even the sister's like, even I know to keep my nose down and not get yeah. involved. Yeah. I do like the fact when uh, she was the lawyer for the crime family. Yeah. Like, as soon as I heard the voice, I'm like, is that who I think it is? Stretch from Part 2 of Texas Chainsaw. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> this is what I heard the voice, I'm like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I confirmed it, the Caroline. Yep, that's her. Cool. Did not clue in on that. <laughs> but. And then there's a scene where Renfield and the cop are together in a bar because Renfield's looking for victims. <laughs> and he's picking. Uh, yeah, he has to pick pure victims. And apparently there's a group of nuns in the bar <laughs> and a busload of cheerleaders come in. Yeah. And Dracula's like, yeah, if even I had a few nuns or a busload of cheerleaders, <laughs> I'd be back to full health. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> So Redfield tries to go into action, but then the cop is here to uh, do some investigation, and that's when the crime family strikes to uh, kill her. Yeah. And, and fails, because... And fails because Redfield powers up on bugs <laughs> and slaughters a lot of them. Oh, cool. Like, uh, cuts the guy's hands off with a serving tray? Yeah. Did I just watch you cut some man's hand off with a serving tray? <laughs> Yeah, that was just the adrenaline. Yeah. That was awesome with what that was. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you pick up on the subtle... You, the partner's actually against her. I, uh, I, he went to the bathroom. bathroom. Yeah, I think like, she went to the bathroom. I'm like... Mm. Yeah. Then when he said, like, I'll call it in, he's like, do you call it in? Yeah. No, no. Uh, yeah, sort of. Yeah. I'm like, yep. Yeah. I was like, I, as soon as I saw that, he's like, he's going to the bathroom. I was like, I think something's up here. Yeah. Your partner's not your partner. <laughs> and, again, another movie I don't want to go through the story beats of because, no. one, one, there's not many story beats to really go through. True. There's a lot of action scenes. Yeah, this is like pure action. It, it's a pure action scene. It's not even a horror action. No, like... This is one thing we had a debate on. Yeah, we... Yeah. Well, we didn't have a debate on. We just hate when people say horror action. There's really no horror element. It's just because it has vampires in yeah. it. Yeah. Like, for example, Underworld is a great example of... It's just an action movie, guys. Yeah. There's no horror element in there. That's my two cents on that. We'll move on. Yeah. <laughs> So things we like about the movie. Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage does a great Dracula. I can't stress that enough. Like, you gotta see Nicolas Cage play Dracula. Yeah, like... Think, um, yeah, you've not lived until yes. you see Nicolas Cage play Dracula. Because the way Nicolas Cage acts... Yeah. ...is very dra old-school Dracula acting. He suits it so well. He's always motion and dramatic. Yeah, like... <laughs> like, you could not have picked a better person to be a Dracula. Other than the original Dracula, but... Well, unfortunately, he's... <laughs> it's like, we totally just... He's 50 years old and he's dead. 
Like, you can't tell me Dracula's dead. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yes, we mentioned the jokes of Mortal Kombat, but if you like Mortal Kombat levels of violence, oh, yeah. this movie is basically, this should have been a Mortal Kombat movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I was going through scenes for Mortal Kombat, the movie, like the three movies we watched. Yeah. Not on this channel, thankfully, but just when I passed on, I was like, there was not this level of violence in any of those. No, oh, and for game series, it's no violence. For knowing for its violence and fatalities, <laughs> where was this? <laughs> this outshined you in so many areas. Yeah, but guys, like, the kills um, were very creative and very brutal. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so if you guys are working on Mortal Kombat 2, take notes from this movie. Yeah. Definitely, if like there's a new Mortal Kombat movie coming around the corner, this is a good inspiration for some of your fatalities. We have people flying into people and exploiting them from the inside. <laughs> we have people just ripping arms off and beating the hell out of people. We have just punched your head off. <laughs> yeah, that was one of my favorite scenes is when he goes to take on the drug dealers. And after he like kill like basically kills the third one, he's like, "What did you mention about a hitman?" Yeah. And then the big burly hitman comes <laughs> in. Apache Joe. Yeah. Yeah, I know his name's racist. You want to tell him that? That guy cuts tongues out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, things we didn't like about the movie. Oh yeah, this. So, as I pointed out, there wasn't very many story beats. No, it just so. kind of goes from action scene to action scene with just a small interlude between. Yeah. And it's just repeating the same thing as Renfield's kind of a victim, but not like <laughs> needs to man up against Dracula. Yeah, become your own man. Yeah, become your own man. The message just got hit over and over again every se between scenes. Yeah. And this doesn't really touch on the lore of Dracula, but if you're here for that, I don't think you're here no, for the right is, reason. No, I mean, like I said, they reference the original a little bit, but then after they, they don't go into it. Yeah. And I don't think the movie needed it. I didn't need, like... He turns into a swarm of bats. I was like, okay, that's a Dracula thing. Anyone who knows Dracula knows that's a Dracula thing. He drinks blood. Yes, that's a Dracula thing. He hates the sunlight. Yes. I do like the joke at the end where it's like, to be honest, there's so many myths and lores of how to kill Dracula. We don't really know how to kill Dracula, so we're just gonna try them all. Hey, yeah, right. Like, and we're not even sure this killed him, but yeah. we'll guarantee it'll take him a good long time to come back from. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like that one. Yeah. Yeah, Gun knows I'm a Dracula. I paid his advance. I want you to know the beast on Dracula. Yeah. Like you should know the base powers of Dracula. <laughs> And I like that they added to the Thrall, or Renfield's, like, ability to, like, get a little bit of Dracula's power through bugs. Yeah, like, that's just kind of... Because that's never really mentioned in the original. No, I just know that... I know he needed it to live, but I didn't realize... What he got from it. Yeah, he didn't, like, it didn't seem like he got anything from it, he was just cursed to eat bugs. Yeah. But uh, no, no, let's give them some powers behind that so we can make a more epic movie. Yeah, and holy crap. <laughs> yeah. So, as unrealistic as it is, it's better this way in my mind. There you go. And I guess Final Thoughts. Yeah, no, it's a one good action, over the top action movie. This is definitely up on the list for over the top action movies. Yeah. And once yeah. again, if you're a fan of Nicolas Cage, you're right at home. <laughs> and I was going for this, and I was like, as a Castlevania fan, and a person who does love, like, the Helsing and the Belmonts, yeah. I was like, 
yeah, no, this would be a Dracula. I, I believe Nicolas Cage is the Dracula. Yeah. From all, even those games. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was like very impressed with this. So with that though, we'll call the episode here. It's gonna be another shorter one, but this wasn't a very long movie, only 97 minutes. Yeah, nine, nine, five minutes or 97. Yeah. It wasn't that long. It wasn't that long, but... Which is a good thing, because like... I felt if it was going on too long, I would've got bored of this yeah. real quick. Same. Yeah. Short and sweet, that's what we'll call this movie. <laughs> And with that, we'll call the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. Shut the fuck up, Kyle. <laughs> Way to insult all our Kyle viewers, Billy. Really. <laughs>